All right, this is Grade 1, Module 1, Lesson 2. And in this lesson, we're going to reason about embedded numbers in various configurations. So the idea is we're not just going to give them students tidy little numbers. We're going to give them collections of kind of oddly arranged things. And then inside that, we want our students to see numbers. For example, in this picture, we, uh, students might see a group of three apples here and a group of four apples here. So we would want them to reason with a number bond, saying that the number bond would be three apples and four apples for a total of seven apples. So that's just one example. And in most of these configurations, students will have the option of seeing things in a variety of different ways where the parts may change, but of course the whole is non-negotiable. It will always stay the whole number. So on this example it says circle two parts that you see and then make a number bond to match. So parents and teachers, there's no rule for how we want our students to see these dots. Um, one example might be um, they might see four dots here and three dots here, in which case their number bond might look something like three and four for a total of seven. Now, what we want them to do is to count on. <clears throat> so we want them to see one of these collections. Let's say we start with the four, and then we count on from four. So we say four, five, six, seven. And so that's what we want is we want to see students not necessarily adding, but at this point we want them to see them counting on. Another example might be they see this as three, and then so they say three, and then four, five, six, seven. Okay. Now of course this is not the only way to see these dots. There's other ways that students can see them and certainly allow them the privilege to do so. This is another practice here, circle the two parts that you see. Now what's different is this number bond is a vertical one, where the hole is on the bottom and the parts are on the top. No different. We want students to get used to all the different configurations of that number bond. Oh, gee whiz, what might I see? Boy, um, I kind of see three parts. It's driving me crazy with my little adult brain. So uh, how would we see two parts? Oh. Maybe I'll see three up here, so I'll circle three right here, and then I might see this these dots down here. So if I was a student, I might say, hmm, how many dots is in that bigger group? So one, two, three, four, five. Ah, so that's five. And then I would count, oh, I can see that that other part here is three. I can kind of see that. So how am I going to count them all? Well, I'll start with the five, the big group, five, six, seven, eight. So start with the big group, five, six, seven, eight. So our answer, our whole, is eight. And the last slide for this video, how many animals do you see? And write at least two different number bonds. So this whole video. Really, I'm only showing one example each time, but students can certainly come up with different options that are also correct. And this question is specifically asking kids to think outside their box and come up with a couple of different ways to see these dogs. So I'm looking at these dogs and I can see, well, one, two, three, four, five, six. So I can see six do dogs all together, but let's create a number bond. Oh, let's see. Maybe I will do these two dogs right here. So I'll circle them. And then I see the remaining dogs over here. And so I can see that we have two dogs and we have four dogs for a total of six dogs. So there's one way to do it. Now another way, let's see. Another way, and I'm going to do this in green. Another way might be, hmm, let's circle five dogs right here. So here's five dogs and then so that's five dogs and then we have that one little dog left over. 
one little dog left over right here. So five and one gives us a total of six. Lots of other answers that are possible. So teachers, just let your students talk about all the different answers they see as long as it's correct, right? As long as the whole number is six and as long as the parts have a sum of six, we're cool. So let your students own the math and let your students play with the math and uh, share their answers. And that wraps up Grade 1, Module 1, Lesson 2, where we're giving students some funky variations, uh, you know, of arrangements of things, and asking them to count and use number bonds to show their thinking.